Do you have a knife designer that can just do no wrong? How's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And if you have that one magical knife designer that has never steered you wrong, that has always made knives that you just absolutely love, head on down to the comment section and let me know just who exactly it is. It could help me, it could help somebody else, you never know. And while you're down there, if you like these style of reviews, make sure you smack the like button, give it a little tappy tap, show it who's boss. Today we're talking about the Best Tech Mopis. Uh, this is a knife that we checked out, well, on the internet, on one of my live streams. My live streams happen every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's 8 p.m. Mountain, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, and 9 p.m central i think we got them all i'm really excited to talk about this guy because kombu who designed this knife is one of my favorite knife designers and i don't think i've ever seen a design of his that i didn't end up really really liking so when i had the chance to get my hands on a mothis i couldn't pass it up huge shout out to eric outer the best tech usa rep who made this possible he lent this to me i do not get to keep it um, but during the time that it is here we are going to check it out let's check it out so this one has been a long time coming and what I mean when I say that is that we talked about this before it was released on a live stream. And here's the thing. This is a combo design. There's very few designers out there that take as many risks as combo. Combo is one of my favorite designers for that reason. And this knife is, is gorgeous. Look at the filigree on the scales. It's reflective. And then you notice that the pattern goes all the way back to where you put the pocket clip. And the pocket clip is not only reversible, it's this milled, 3D milled titanium block that continues the same design as you get over there. It's supposed to be a moth head. It's cool. I really, really, really like it. Now, this is not what I would consider to be a cheap knife by any stretch of the means. Uh, I'll let you decide for yourself. There's the price. So what do you get for your hard earned dollars? Well, you get really nicely milled titanium. You get M390 on the blade, this crowned thumb disc, which looks fantastic. We've been seeing more things like crowned thumb studs. This is a crowned thumb disc. You get the best tech version of a crossbar style lock. They call it the B lock and the ergos are phenomenal the lockup really really good that's it's more than solid uh, the blade style is a drop point and before we go any further I got to talk about the lock so you guys know that I have a lot of love for the best tech men Ronin which also uses a B lock now something that some people really like and some people really don't like about crossbar style locks or the axis lock from Benchmade is just how how wishy-washy and squishy it feels. It's very light. It's very easy to actuate. This is more like the ball bearing lock on a Manix 2. You actually do need to use both your index finger and your thumb to get that to fly out. So if you want to release it, you got to use both. And I've heard reviews from people on the Ronin and from people on the Mothis that the lock is really stiff and hard to actuate for them. I know from experience with my Ronin that the lock does get easier to actuate. In fact, if I try hard, I can actually actuate this with, you know, one with one finger, but that's not comfortable. And I think what the people who complain about that stiffness are people who thought they were going to get an axis lock on a best on a best tech. And that's just not necessarily the case here, the axis lock on Benchmades, they don't really have a detent. There is no detent, it's all based on the spring. There can be no detent. Now, even though this is a similar design, you actually do get a detent. Now, 
Is it fidgety in the sense that we all know it as? No, um, it's not going to pop out like it would if this was a, you know, frame lock. Um, you do have to get a bit of wrist action in there and the people that are used to access locks know what I mean. But unlike with a Benchmade, when you release it, the blade falls shut and that action is smooth. Um, it's, just, it's just really, really good. Now, something you can do is if you have one of these or if you have a Ronin and you want to relieve some pressure, uh, just leave it like this for a couple days. Put it down, carry something else, leave it like that. It will actually wear in that lock and it'll still be stiffer than an axis lock, but it'll also be easier to actuate. These do break in, but they're never going to be like a regular axis lock. So if that's what you're into, you know, just keep that in mind. It is a single-sided captive pivot and we do get some billboarding on the blade as we normally do with Best Tech. It says Best Tech here on the show side and then Kombu and M390 here on the clip side. I'm just taken away by how beautiful this knife is. The, the filigree, the clip, the ergos, the extra chamfering involved. It lends to a really, really comfortable grip in the hands. It doesn't feel slick, but it also doesn't feel super grippy. It's kind of different as far as the feeling is concerned. Uh, you can switch up the grip. It feels great as well. Uh, it does give you the ever so slightly tiny suggestion as to where you should put your hands, but you don't have to. Um, and that's nice. Your fingers don't need to be a certain size. And that thumb disc actually replaces the need for jimping because it gives you a really solid surface to get behind that blade for some really, really good controlled cuts in a saber grip. It's going to be good for utilitarian purposes. Even though it looks on the prettier side, this is a knife that could actually do some work. Uh, this is a knife that I would consider to be a good EDC knife. You can flip the pocket clip around, the lock is ambidextrous, the grips are easy to come by and comfortable, the metal is premium, M390 is still a super steel, guys. Not everything has to be made out of Magna Cut. M390 is an amazing steel, and you can get it on this knife. Overall, I think it's gorgeous. I think that for the money, this competes out there with a lot of different knives, but it does so in a way that's different. I've never seen a clip that looks like this. Now, I know some people are going to say, oh, I think that's hideous or, you know, that's not my jam. I get it. You know, some people want more simplistic. And then there's people like me who want something that's different, that doesn't look like every other knife out there. This does not look like a Benchmade bug out. Hallelujah. This looks like something more. And I really, really like that. I like knives that make me feel something when I look at them. The black finish on the blade is bananas. It, it's perfect. It's, it's got a tiny bit of shine to it. Otherwise, it's a matte finish. It's nice and smooth. The bevels on the edge are great for a factory finish on a knife. As far as blade centering, it's perfect. Best Tech really did a good job on the fit and finish for this guy. Ultimately, it's going to be up to you because people are dividing into their camps. They either like the B-Lock or they don't. They think it's too stiff. Uh, they either like the action or they don't. For one, I really like how I can hold the knife like this, release the B-Lock, and it just falls shut, but it, it doesn't slam and bounce. It's, uh, it's a bit more controlled. I don't know if that's the right word, but it feels more refined. All around, this knife is refined, but it also feels like a knife that could be carried daily, could get some good use out of. This is not a knife that I would let sit in a case. I would actually carry this daily. And they have these in a lot of different finishes. I know you can get it in blue, uh, you can get it in black, you can get it in uh, this color, the, the bronze. I mean, they've got a lot of different options. And the satin finished versions of this blade come in two different finishes. The more expensive one is a hand rubbed finish that looks beautiful. But I'm really curious to find out what you think. Are you interested in the Best Tech Mathis? Are you not? Is it too much? Did they go too far? Or did they not go far enough? 
let me know. Hit me up in the comments section down below. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boohoo, there's a button for you too. And if you want to see more awesome videos just like this, make sure you hit subscribe. I'm Roll Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.